The software allows you to divide devices into different groups. At the top left corner, device groups are displayed. There are two primary grouping methods, auto grouping and manual grouping. Auto grouping allows you to set constraint conditions that will determine which devices are added to different groups. Click on the auto grouping folder and click the add button. You can then set the group name and auto grouping expressions in the pop-up box. More than one constraint can be set for a group and conditions are case sensitive. For example, if the device name constraint contains CPE 510, devices whose names contain CPE 510 will be added to the group automatically. These devices will then appear in the device list for the CPE 510 group. You can also choose manual grouping and click the add button. You can then create a group by entering your desired group name in the pop-up box. You then manually add devices by right-clicking the device in the list, clicking the add to group button, and selecting the appropriate group name. The device then appears in the specified group's device list. If you would like to delete devices from the group, just select the target device and click the delete button on the toolbar in the device tab. You can also select multiple devices by holding the control or shift key on the keyboard and delete them all at the same time. Please note that newly added devices are unmanaged by default. Management should be turned on before you continue. To do this, double-click an unmanaged device and enter the username, password, and port information in the pop-up box. Then click the Start Managing button and the device will be managed as long as the connection between the server and the target device is viable. Once device management is active, you can make changes and initiate actions as necessary. For example, you can change working parameters in the pop-up box by clicking the Edit button on the toolbar. After editing, click the OK button and the configuration will take effect immediately, which means you don't need to log in to the web OS to change the configuration. If you would like to update the firmware of a device, just select the target device, click the Update button on the toolbar, then confirm in the window that pops up. In the pop-up box, select the devices that need to be updated and choose the firmware version from the drop-down list. Make sure all the information is correct and click OK to confirm. To reboot a device, just select the target device and click the Reboot button on the toolbar. Select devices as required, then click OK to confirm. Most of the functions listed in the toolbar can also be accessed by using your mouse to right-click on a device. The only exceptions are the ping, open web UI, and add to group functions. Ping is used to test the connection between the device and the server. By clicking on the open web UI button, you can access the web-based management page to configure devices and access additional options. If you would like to add a device to a group, just click Add to Group and select the desired group from the list.